Hello my friends. We're going to harvest the tilapia from my fish tanks and I'll show you how I fillet them and package them. It's January 27th and this is a typical winter day here in northwest Pennsylvania and it's about 20 degrees outside. So we're going to go and harvest some fish. It's about 65 inside the, the fish house. The tanks are running about 82 degrees. The quickest and most humane way to dispatch these fish is to put them in a bucket of ice water. They'll breathe in the ice cold water through their gills and it'll chill them down real quick and it's basically painless. This is a one and a half pound uh, tilapia and it is <clears throat> one of the smaller ones that I just pulled out. Now when I fillet these I'm going to cut beh just behind these two fins. We're cutting through scale and then you, you you have some meat up here on the top of the head. So a lot of people go and gut the fish first. I don't do that. Once I get this cut then I go in along this dorsal fin. Turn it so you can see it. Cut here and I'm feeling my way down down the bones, down to the spine, and you can feel the knife hitting that, hitting the spine. Okay, now once you get this in, this cut, then we take this in till we hit the ribs, right there. I can feel them. Right here is the end of the rib cage. So we stop right there. Now that we hit the ribs, we follow the ribs. And you can feel the knife striking it. Now there's these pin bones right here. We had to go through those. And right where we get to the end of the rib cage, well, let's finish the, the ribs. Now, some people try to take the belly meat. I find there's almost no meat on the belly. So we get down to the bottom of the rib cage, and then we go down to the spine. right to there, to about the end of the tail. Now I'm cutting the flesh off the belly. Now this, if you're trying to get the belly meat, you need to gut the fish and take it right to there. Once you have that piece, we need to, I'm leaving it attached, we need to take the flesh off of the skin so this is where, if you work to the edge of the table, it helps a little better, edge of the board. Then now your knuckles aren't on it. 
Now we push down to the flesh. I'm off of the tail now, so I can feel the knife on the board. And take that fillet off, right there. Right here are the pin bones, there's like four or five of them. You need to cut into there, locate the bones. Cut there. Now the pin bones are on this side. I don't want to cut through them again. It looks like I got them. And right there, that's holding those pin bones. Clean fillet. Turn it over. Second side. Same way. Got to go down the dorsal fin. And I'm going up along the ribs. Depending on whether you're left handed or right handed, one side's harder than the other. You can see there the ribs. I'm using those as the guide. And when you get to the end of the rib cage, right there, then you have to go down to the spine. right to the end of the tail. Now we cut down to the skin. And when we're off of the tail, we're down onto the board. And just guide the knife along the skin. Okay, there's a second one. Now we need to remove these pin bones. I'm feeling for them. That little triangular cut, that's holding the bones, I can feel them in there. Then I check, see if I left any, they're good. Let's weigh that, that should weigh the same as the first fillet. <laughs> I did a better job, 0.22. Give it a rinse, get rid of any of the uh, scales that might have been on it. Clean fillet and throw it on ice. This tilapia weighs 1.865, almost two pounds. So here again I'm cutting behind that fin. You gotta get the scales out of the way, right behind the gill. And you want to try to get this meat that's up on the top of the head. So you gotta make a arch cut. Once you get into there, now you follow down the dorsal fins. And I'm trying to make the knife glide down the back here. And we want to go in 
to the uh, spine, but the first cut, we need to make this incision down the back. Once we get down to the end of the tail, we want to feel this down to the spine. Okay, then we're going to run into these pin bones. There's like five or so of them right up in here. And then I'm feeling the rib cage. And we're going right along that rib cage. And we're letting the bones guide the knife. And like I said earlier, we're not that concerned about the belly meat because we don't find much on it. As soon as you get to the end of the rib cage, which it ended right there, now I'm going down along the spine. Take it right down close to the end, flip that over. You can see here we followed the ribs. You don't have to gut the fish. And then we use the fillet knife as it's supposed to be used, flexing it. And I use it over the edge of the table so my knuckles are off. There's the fillet. Most of the meat's gone. We have these pin bones right from here, down. It's on an angle, so I'm real light. I'm trying to feel them. You make this little, they're out of there. Make this little triangular cut. Detach it. And I feel for them. I can feel. Nope, they're all right. Let's see what that weighs. 0.27. Second side. Behind the fin. You're going to make your way through the scales. Behind the gill. And make this. Cut across the head. Now we're going down the dorsal fin. right to the spine through those pin bones following the rib cage once you get behind the rib cage. We go down to the spine. Now since I'm right-handed I don't like cutting towards my belly. We only want one fish fillet here. Okay, we're down to the spine. Okay, 
just about to the end. Flip that fillet out, or that half out. Now we're following the skin. Then once we get across the tail, we go to the edge of the board. Here's the fillet. Take our pin bones out. When you buy a fillet in the store, you see that little V cut. And that's what they did. They removed that pin bones. This is a two and a half pound tilapia. Here you have 15 filleted tilapia and I have 16 packages. This one is from a two and a half pound tilapia, the biggest one that I pulled out. So there is, that fillet is as big as these single fillet packages and I vacuum sealed these. So they should keep a long time in the fridge or freezer. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.